In Somalia, millions of people are struggling to survive after nearly three decades of war. In towns and villages torn apart by conflict between various armed groups, the people have fled, and stray cats and dogs roam free in the streets. Hi, hi, hi. This is the man who has vowed to be their guardian. His life is dedicated to Somalia's four-legged inhabitants. One man preaching animal rights in the crosshairs. Despite anger from his neighbors, the constant threat of war and going against cultural norms in Somalia, he has vowed to care for his stray animals until the day he dies. Seventy-five year old Abdi cares for hundreds of animals across the Jubaland region. The meat market is packed with shoppers buying food to feed their families. Abdi is here for the bits most leave behind, lungs, hearts and livers. A retired factory worker, Abdi doesn't have a pension. His son sends him five dollars a day to live on and he spends half of that on meat for the animals. <laughs> People here don't keep cats and dogs as domestic pets. After all, this is a country where millions of people are struggling to survive. And there are no animal welfare charities. Some of the animals Abdi cares for are the last remaining residents of empty villages, abandoned following nearly 30 years of war. Since 1991, war has raged in this country. At the beginning, it was between clans vying for power. Right now, it's Al-Shabaab, the Al-Qaeda branch in Somalia, versus the government. This is forcing people to constantly be on the move, fleeing villages. They take precious commodities with them, camels and goats, but the stray cats and dogs are left behind. So the animals who once survived in populated villages are left to fend for themselves. In Somalia, cats and dogs, especially dogs, are seen as dirty. Abdi sometimes faces hostility from his neighbors. After feeding a pack of dogs, he walks to a nearby shop to ask for water. <laughs> that lady is very angry. She is shouting at him. All he did was approach her and ask her if she can give him a water so that he can wash his hands. But because he was feeding dogs, that she sees him as dirty or unclean. But criticism from his neighbors doesn't put him off. Abdi has a message of hope. He preaches peace between animal and man. Here, animals are mistreated. This cat was scalded with boiling water.
Abdi made saving animals his mission after cuts saved his life, he says. He feels that he's returning the favor. Abdi won't be around forever, so he's asked his nephew, Yusuf, to take over from him when he's gone. He has agreed, despite receiving the same hostility from neighbors. In Somalia, there is a strong sense of respecting your elders, and even when facing challenges, Yusuf is keen to follow his uncle's request. This is a country ravaged by war where relations between men has long been strained. For Abdi, the moral of this tale is one of compassion and loving thy neighbor no matter who they are. Thank you.